Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is JavaScript Top 100 Coding Interview Questions and Answer Series. In today's episode, the question is, explain weak set in JavaScript with an example. This is question number 46 on this particular series. Before we start coding, I'll request you to check out the ebook that I've authored, which has all these questions and much, many, many more. These questions will help you become better developer by improving your coding logic as well as help you crack those interviews. You can get the book at arctutorials.gumroad.com. All right, so let's talk about today's question. The question is explain weak set in JavaScript with an example. So what is a weak set first of all? Weak set contains only objects and no other type. Okay, so remember that weak set is nothing but which contains only objects. Okay and nothing else. Let's see that in action. All right, so that should be pretty simple and straightforward, right? Let's create an object, um, object one, and you can say, okay, and then you can give anything. Okay, so this is a simple object, okay? Um, do let me know if you also have a habit of putting semicolon. I do that every single time, everywhere. <laughs> All right, so let's create a new set, okay? So here we are defining that I want a new weak set. Now what does weak set mean? That means um, that we have to pass this and we are going to say opj1 and we are going to say op1, okay? What it means is that only object is required and nothing else. Okay, so let's see that now. We are defined a new weak set and let's console log and see new set. How does it look like? Okay, so it's a new weak set and empty. So here I'm going to change it and make it an object here. Okay, so I'm passing the same object what is there in the weak set. So now if you see this has an entry which has a value. Okay, but what happens if we have little complex one, right? Um, still the same, but the values will now be in the under one. Okay, now let's say I want to create a new weak set with a wrong thing okay so I'm going to show you the error things because life is not rosy always we will run into bad data so now I'm creating a new weak set with bad data and I'm saying new set three right let's call it four and put it here so you see new new set 3 has already been defined so here I'm making 4 so now it says invalid value used in weak set okay so now we saw that it works with objects right but what about numbers it failed okay fair enough let's try with the string it will still fail because invalid value so number doesn't work string doesn't work what about Small, it still doesn't work, right? So basically, you know the idea now, which is weak sets only work with objects. What if I have more than one objects? Sure, no problem. Just define more objects and put the value and it's an array. So basically, you can pass any value you want, okay? So now you will have two entries, zero and one, okay? Which will have the values, whatever we would give. Is a country India phone, okay? That's the variation. Now, can you define uh, a particular weak set on the go? Sure, we can. And how do you do that? So you can create something like, if you don't want it as an object, right? You can say, Set four. I hope we have a 
haven't used it already okay object is not iterable right so it has to be the array it has to be in an array even if it is single it has to be in a array okay so there you are so we can create dynamically the object or we can predefine it here we can pass any number of objects but we cannot pass the numbers strings etc it takes only the objects okay so that's the whole concept of weak set i hope it's clear uh, if you have any doubts write to me at surya.arad at gmail.com don't forget to get the ebook for more such coding questions and answers you can get the book at rtutorials.gumroad.com thank you so much for joining see you in the next episode